I've been getting a lot of people asking me to see the process of how I work, how I take the time to sit down and upload things to my store, whether it's one store or two stores, how I approach things, kind of like, I don't know, a day in a life or more like an hour in a life of designing and uploading to various stores. And this is what this video is going to be about. During this video, you'll see a lot of things. You're going to see me designing a bunch of things. You're going to see me aligning different clip art on top of a sticker sheet, I think, making a few t-shirts, deciding what t-shirts I want to use, uploading products onto fourth wall using mock-ups as well as uploading to TeePublic, and sort of like time managing the whole thing as I go along. With that said, I just have to get one thing out of the way, which is, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online, and I'm going to go brush my teeth, wash my face, make a fresh pot of coffee, and do my magic trick to send it over to my screen to, well, work on my print and demand stores. And we're here on my screen, as you can see, and you can also probably hear me better because I'm using my pink microphone, which is probably the question I get asked for every single video. This is the Fiffin microphone. I found it on Amazon. Just go to Amazon, type in Fiffin. They have a bunch of those with different colors. I actually have another black one and we're off topic already. This is cows. This is my cow shop. And the way that I do things when I'm designing or when I'm approaching designing or when I say, okay, I have one hour for designing is the first thing is what are the tools in my toolkit? And obviously I do have a lot of tools. I also have Procreate and I can use Lexica, but what are the tools that I'm going to use for this one? So in this case, the tools are going to be Canva, which is here. The tools are going to be uh, the new clip art mega bundle that I created with Kawaii clip art of basically 10 different Kawaii things doing six different things. As you can see, there is obviously a cow in each and every one of them and also ChatGPT, which I forgot to open. So let's go for that one now because I'm going to ask him to give me some puns or for, or like ideas for cool things that I want to design. What I do want to make is that I want to make a bunch of products from my fourth wall store. I think that showing you guys the process of creating each and every one of them, uh, whether it's t-shirts, I wrote like uh, socks, sticker sheets, coffee mugs, notebooks, maybe a sports bra, maybe a pattern for a pillow or a pattern for something else, as well as upload some stuff to my Tee Public store. I already have Playset open because I do know I'm going to use Playset for mockups for my own store. And I also have my cows, let's call it cheat sheet. <laughs> already open for those of you who have seen the fourth wall tips video then you know I use this a lot let's get started with the first thing which is to look at my not at my email that I opened by mistake but to look at all of the animals that I have here they're all 7,000 by 7,000 pixels so they're really good even as a standalone they're pretty big and can cover large spaces and I'm first and foremost going to go to the cows so I have a cow on skateboard, a cow on rollerblades, a cow listening to music, eating pizza, eating ice cream, and drinking coffee. The first thing that comes to mind, honestly, is to make a sticker sheet. So I'm going to head on over to cows. These are all my illustrations. So I'm going to head on over to products, actually. Create a new product, design something new. I'm going to go to accessories. And one thing that I do recommend to do is to always open something in a new tab when you're working on things, it makes things a lot easier. So for example, I want to do the sticker sheet, the background. So I'm going to open it in a new tab up here. So this stays open and design this now. Now, if you haven't caught the measurements, let's have a look again. This is 5.83 inches by 8.83. 27 inches and it's shipped from multiple locations. But what I am going to do is I'm going to create the pixel size of them in 300 dpi over on Canva. So I'm going to do 5.83 times 300 and that not divided. Come on, times 300 and that's 1749. That's 1749 and the other measurements were 8.27 times 300 is 2,481. And I'm going to duplicate this times two, just to create a big enough size. Let's grab this. 
Ah, uh, no! I can't believe I did that. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> See, that's what happens. What was the height again? This was 2, 4. Let's multiply this by 2. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. And create a new design. And this is the size of a sticker sheet, and I've already uploaded all of the kawaii stuff over here, so there's not much I need to do. The only thing I need to do is to align all of these cows that I want here in a way that they don't touch each other. So I'm going to grab all six of them. And I'm also thinking maybe to do something that might brand me, because I do have the name of the shop cows in a specific font that I use in a lot of places, so I'm thinking it might come in handy. So I'm thinking this could be like a really cool sticker sheet of cows doing stuff. Now, I'm trying to look at, for example, the cow eating ice cream is very vertical, and the cow on a skateboard is very horizontal. So do I have another example of these happening together? Because it would make sense to put one on top of the other. And then to take something that is a bit one by one ratio -y on top of that. And that is the way to basically arrange these. Because I have to make sure that none of them touch each other. But I also want to make sure that people get a, a fairly large sticker size. So I'm going to point these out to the edges. This goes a little bit inward. This goes out to the edge. And this goes out to the edge. And I think that this should work f fairly well for me. Come on, move yourself to the side. Why isn't it moving? Oh, it is. I'm just blind. Cows doing stuff. Sticker sheet. And download this with a transparent background. Kiss got stickers. Design now. Did it finish downloading? No. Why would it? Now this is something you can do if you've created your own clip art or if you have the license to do that. I could have also added text to them, by the way, like kind of like simple text around each and every one of them. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but there's like a safe area. So I'm going to make sure that my design is inside the safe area and that nothing is out. And then let's check out if I do something to the background. I think I have some cool stuff that I can use for the background here. Sometimes I like to use these. These are some stuff that I've done with Procreate that will be large enough to be in the background. Also this one, which is some kind of like a cow pattern background. Let's check out the preview. And as you can see, none of the stickers are touching each other, which is what I want to see because if they're touching each other, then people are going to get like one sticker when it's supposed to be two, and that's not really good. I'm going to hit on next, which means it's going to start rendering. Now, based on the size and the weight of the image that you've uploaded, it can take uh, up to a minute, I think, at some point. This was rather fast. I didn't edit any point of this. And let's go with Kawaii Cows sticker sheet. I'm going to copy paste this. Okay. Kawaii cow sticker sheets, a cute sticker, a cute sticker sheet with six kawaii cow illustrations of cows doing different things, eating ice cream, eating pizza, drinking coffee, listening to music, rollerblading, and skateboarding. And then I'm going to go on over to my file that I already have. Let's search for the word stickers. And I have here the stickers and the sticker sheets. So all kawaii sticker sheets are made to order. Let's copy paste this. Let's also copy paste the sheet size. Okay, for some reason it always brings it up in bold, which is annoying, um, but I want to bold this one. All cow sticker sheets are made to order and available in multiple fulfillment centers in the world based on your location and product availability. Your cow's sticker sheet will be shipped to you from our partners' facilities in the US, European Union, Australia, or Canada. How much do I price these? $8 usually. So if I price this at $8, I'm going to get $3 from this sale. You can price yourself a lot higher if you want to get more, or you can price yourself lower if you want to get more people to buy this. Because this is a new store and I don't have a lot of hype on social media, 
I prefer to lure people in with a cheaper price and I don't mind making $3 from this sale. I've seen people price sticker sheets a lot higher. In my Jewish store, I do know that I price them a lot higher because they're a lot more rare, I would say, than just cute cow stickers. Publish now. Let's click on edit. I'm gonna go over to edit additional sections and delete the size and fit because it's empty. I'm gonna save, go back and view my product. Woo! Now, I'm not gonna add it into collection because I'm gonna have a lot of other products and I'm not gonna repeat the process of doing that collections thing over and over and over again. I'm just gonna do it once. Now I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT because I want some ideas. Hello. Please give me ideas on what to write on a coffee mug for cow lovers. Of course. I like how you're nice to ChatGPT, so it's nice to you back. Okay, so we have malicious mornings. Ooh, that's nice. Utterly amazing. This coffee is utterly amazing. I like this one. Like, I usually don't take the puns from this, but I just get ideas from it. Coffee plus cows equals happiness. This could work. Okay, I'm gonna head on over here. Uh, we can delete this one because I already designed it. And we're gonna go to drinkware. And which mug am I using the most? Let's go to my shop. Shop by product, drinkware. Okay, so I have the duotone mug. I really like those. I have the tumblers. I have the steel tumblers. I have mostly, I think, the duotone mugs. Yeah, I use mostly the duotone mugs. Let's do a duotone mug. Okay, mugs. And open the ceramic with color inside mug in a new tab and design. Now, I have 11 ounces and 15 ounces for this one. I'm going to check this out there's the height and the diameter why is this still open design now and this is my design space nine inches by three and a half so i'm going to go over to sizes it's nine inches by 3.8 i'm going to do i think the 15 ounces let's do the 15 one i don't want the 11 ounces mug let's remove this one and do this one so nine times 300 is 2700 and 3.8 times 300 basically calculating the dpi the size that it's going to be let's duplicate this so 2280 and 2700 is 5400 it's going to be big enough for my design since, you know, everything here is very big. It looks like the same dimensions. Sometimes feels like it doesn't, you know? Let me just test it out because I feel like I'm, I feel like this is not gonna hit the mark on that exactly. I'm just gonna download it with the JPEG just to test it out. Artwork. Yeah, it covers it perfectly. I don't know why I was so paranoid. Okay. Now we have the puns cow coffee plus cows equals happiness. I'm going to copy paste this into here just to have it around and I'm going to go to my uploads and I'm going to take the cow that drinks coffee. The horse that drinks coffee is actually much nicer. I mean the horse that drinks coffee is super precious but this is for my cow's shop. Maybe I should do horses plus coffee equals happiness and that will be for tea public. You know what? That's the thing. I'm getting an idea. Oh, I forgot that the maximum is five. I'm going to copy paste this here. Or cats plus coffee or whatever. I'm just going to copy this here. This is going to be for tea public. Okay, coffee plus cows equals happiness. Where is my cow that drinks coffee? Where are you? Hello, baby. Now I need to decide if I want to have like the cow here and then the text on the other side. Or if I want to have like the text under the cow in both sides. Now in case I want something in both sides, what I like to do is to take a square, put it here all the way to the center, and that's how I'll know to like center my design. Because I'm going to center it based on the square. 
So I'm going to put this here. And you see there is a center line on the square. That was plus coffee equals happiness. Let's change it into a different font. I think I want it to be something like thin and long. So it's going to fit nicely under the actual cow. Hey, gotcha. Hmm. Impact, no. I also want it to kind of feel like it fits the cow. I like sailors. I like sailors a lot. Now I need to think if I want to make it like in one line or if I want to uh, down the line like this. Let's space it a little less. Or space it all together like up and down. So in that case, that will be equals happiness. Let's change the happiness to 250. Minimize the spacing. Make sure I'm centered and centered. Push this into, not to the back, but backwards. And place my cow inside. Okay. And now I'm going to take the same thing. Everything. Copy paste it to the other side. Then I'm going to delete and delete. And download this with a transparent background. Okay. Upload image. Now, I did make a mistake here, and I can already see this because the center lines are not actually aligned correctly here. As you can see, this is not a full like ratio for that. If I make it a tiny bit bigger, I could try and center this, but no, I made a mistake. You know what? What if I activate the other size? I think it, the other size it's going to work. Let's deactivate the 15 ounces one. I'm just flowing with it right now. No. You know what I should have done? I should just crop it and have half of it. Okay. Let's go to the 5000 one. I'm just going to do that manually. I know a lot of people think that some, for some reason I'm like perfect when it comes to making designs and I never make mistakes. So I feel like I could have definitely deleted this part out of the video to show you, oh yeah, this is how you should do it. But I felt like leaving in that mistake would be realistic to my process. And so this is what you get. Hello, baby. Come here. Let's center you like this. Duplicate you and move you to the other side. Let's preview. Oh, so cute. Yep, me likey. Let's check out other colors that we can have that might fit. The blue, I don't like. Navy, no. I think the pink would work well because it is sort of like connected to the cow, I think. The yellow should also work well. And the green. I don't pick all the colors because I don't like to give so many options to people. Honestly, that's kind of my opinion. And now I'm going to click on next and it's going to render. While this is rendering, I'm going to go to place it and I'm going to write in multicolor mug. Is that, is that how it's supposed to be? I keep forgetting. I think it was multicolor or color inside. Let's just do 11 ounce mug. 11 ounce mug. Mug up. I'm trying to see where there was like those duo tones because they do have those. Hmm. Once I find one, I'll, I'll, re I'll remember how it's called. Ooh, okay. What's it called? With the colored rim. Okay, let me click on one of these. Now it's going to give me a bunch of other options. So let's do this one first. Uh, the rim color is going to be black. 
the handle color is going to be black, and the artwork is going to be this one. Let's make sure. I'm going to try and make it as big as the product. You see, like the difference between the top and the bottom. So as realistic, you know, as possible. Crop this download. Now let's continue on with my product creation. Do I have a name for those mugs? Here I didn't write any name, like multicolor, double color, no. I'm just gonna write it coffee mug. Mug. And I wrote coffee with one E. Let's copy paste this. Let's go to here, mug. Ceramic mug with color inside. I saw it for $14. I'm copying this entire, this is for, I leave myself instructions. So this is for edit more details. I'm gonna copy this in. All cow mugs are made to order and ship worldwide from one of our fulfillment factories around the world based on your location and product availability. Your cows inside color mug will be shipped to you. Why do I keep forgetting the to you? From our partners facilities in the US, European Union, la la, and I saw it for $14 right now. And um, let's click on publish now. Now you can't see this, but I'm writing on my notebook that I did a sticker sheet because this is a collection I need to add stuff to. That I did a mug and I also used Kawaii. I don't have a cow coffee collection, so that's not going to be here. Edit. Did it download? Yes. Ahoy. Great drag and drop. I can zoom in a little bit, make it higher and add photo. And of course, add it as the main image. Now, I'm not going to add it into the green one because it's not green. I'm not going to add it to the yellow because it's not yellow. If I want to have another mock-up with the yellow, I'm going to put it in the yellow. Same with pink. Black is going to be the featured color and that's the color that people are going to see. And I'm going to save this. But I have more instructions that I left for me, like, for example, to edit the more details and to delete the size and fit. So I'm going to head on over to edit additional sections. Mm -hmm. I don't have 15 ounce mug here. Why is it so far away? Okay, ceramic. Yeah, and delete size and fit save, go back, et voila, it actually looks so cute, so cute, the thing is that now that I'm looking at it, this could also be a really good t-shirt, and so we're going to design a t-shirt, I can close this one, irrelevant, and I can close this one, irrelevant, I'm going to head back over here to apparel, t-shirts, I'm gonna make sure that everything is fulfilled also in the EU. Sometimes there are a little bit of glitches and I want the 6400 Bella canvas. I am gonna do the t-shirt comparison video in a few days and then you'll realize why I'm choosing that one. But Bella canvas 6400 is the one I wanna to design today. And I'm gonna choose the color white and design now. I'm not gonna choose any other color because I think that this design is not gonna look good on any other color. I'm just gonna put this here. Make sure that it's big enough to take all this space. Let's preview her while we go to place it and type in 6400 Bella Canvas mockup. These ones are cute. Is one of you by any chance drinking coffee? Bella Canvas 6400. Why do I have to like specify that? That's weird. I want an image, I don't want a video. Mm -hmm. Is there something here with coffee? No, I don't think so. Okay, this one looks kind of cool. Like the fact that it's like goth and this is basically like a kawaii 
t-shirt kind of always makes me laugh. And I know that this woman, she has one of the photos that she's drinking coffee or that's a video. I'm not sure, but I like her. And I also like little Miss Goth Girl here. Let's do another one. I like her. I like her. She's happy. Like her face just draws your attention. I'm like searching for people who are like looking at me. I feel like, oh, she's she has coffee. She has coffee. She has coffee. Coffee girl will win. It's coffee altogether. She will win. But I also want her. I feel like a lot of people don't really appreciate the value of a smile. Like people will stop because someone is smiling at them. And at this point, I'm going to try to compare how this looks here on top of the mock-up because I want to make sure that if you see the like the ratio or the space between the top, between this um, the color and this, you need to make sure that it's the same. So, so this will be raised a little bit and centered. Why was it off-centered? Yeah. Is it the same width? No. Okay, we're talking mid boobs here. No. Let's resize you. Tiny bit smaller. Thank you, crop. Go, girl. Download. <laughs> I'm going to leave her for something else. She's just so pretty. And I'm going to take her. You're definitely staying. Her smile is just gorgeous. Seriously, her smile is just everything. And I feel like a lot of people think that, you know, you need to create a design that stops people and makes them want to look. But it's also about creating a mock up that stops people. And nothing stops people when they're scrolling more than another person, like looking directly at them. And if coffee plus cows equals happiness, I'm either going to use a mock up of someone who is extremely depressed, like our, like goth, like this one, which I don't know where she went away because it's sarcastic and it's funny, or I'm going to use someone who is extremely smiling. So either or. And at that point, I think I forgot to do that because I should have done it already. Why am I not seeing anything? No! Did my internet go out while I'm filming? That would be really funny. This is like so bad. Reality of life. My internet had a glitch <laughs> while I was filming. Let's try to refresh and see what happens. <laughs> Oh my god. See, that's life for you. Okay, let's save it. I'm good. <laughs> Better now. Preview. Now I raised it up a bit more. No. No. Okay, you go down. Next. And now it's gonna think. Okay, how did I call that one? Coffee and cow is happiness. I'm gonna crop, like, copy this. Happiness uh, t-shirt? Shirt. Rel How am I calling these shirts? Because I have a name for them. Shirt. Relaxed fit. Relaxed fit. This is the relaxed fit. T-shirt. Relaxed fit. Great. Let's go here. Fit. No, not notebook. Relaxed. Yes. A lot of stuff here written. For the Bella Canvas, and I'm selling them for $21. So let's copy this one, not in bold. Relaxed fit, and I'm selling those for $21. $21 gives me a $6 profit margin, and it's still a very competitive price. If I were to sell this on TeePublic for $22, I will get $4. This is six, and I think that's a very simple one. And also, my pricing strategy, I guess, is a bit different when the shop is new. And when I feel like a lot of people can find these things online in other places. These are my prices for now. I'm actually quite happy with them. And I feel like in many cases, when it comes to very niche stores, people will often buy more than one item. So I am more into them buying in bulk or buying more things than actually considering the price of one. And let's upload some mock-ups of this girl here. And everything that is not four by three ratio, you can crop it, you don't have to. But if it's gonna be a main image, I really recommend you crop it, otherwise it's not gonna look good. And if you wanna know how to create that ratio, then just design something 900 by 1200 pixels.
It's usually going to work. I'm also obviously saving the original ones. I'm probably going to use them for, for Pinterest. It's really hard to design and record at the same time, like design and speaking. I'm putting her first, and then I'm putting the t-shirt, and then this t-shirt, and then this t-shirt. And now I have a magic trick to show you. 6400. I have the Bella Canvas 6400 measurement sizes in centimeters and in inches. There was a full video over on Patreon on my best, basically, tips and tricks for using fourth wall. This was one of them. If you want to go ahead and watch it, I will leave a link to that one down below. Am I done? Am I done? Let's go into additional sections. Size and fit. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm going to leave everything like this. And I'm going to write down on my notebook that I did a t-shirt. I think I'm going to add, like, cows and coffee collection because right now if you look at my collections I have kawaii cow which goes in but I don't have coffee cow so I'm gonna add a collection called coffee cow because that could work as well too and now I want to do a sock well a pair of socks but let's go for I think this will be an accessories socks I don't know if you can hear but there are ducks outside and they're quacking yes I don't just have cows I have ducks and while I'm clicking on design now you're gonna see like a video that I took yesterday of the ducks. Their butts look so cute when they're like flapping around. So I went outside yesterday and I, I did that. That was really cute. Let's add image and in this case I'm gonna go over to downloads and I'm gonna go to the Kawaii Mega Bundle and I'm gonna directly upload, hmm, the socks could be for rollerblading. That could be really cool if someone is like rollerblading or for like the on a skateboard or where else do I have cows doing stuff? What else are they eating pizza? No, I'm gonna do something active. So cow on rollerblade. By the way, if you like this video so far or found this content useful, feel free to hit the like button down below because every time we do that, it seriously, really, really, really does help my channel with the YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate anyone that takes the time to like or even to comment on anything that I do on YouTube and subscribe for cool other content on this channel. Now, if you're designing directly on Printful, you're going to have another option to design the socks. But when you're designing um, on fourth wall, you only have this option. So I have this cow. I can add text, which I will. And this will be, this is how I. And I'm going to put this here. Let's find a different font for it. I usually use the Aloya for a lot of things. This is how I text roll Aloya. This is how I roll. Let's center this a little bit below. Move the cow. Okay, I'm moving this as much as I can to the top, to the safe print area, and then the cow with it. And then the word, word roll. Let's see how it looks when it's white. See, I think it's a bit raised. It's too raised. No. Hello. Hello. Let's just center this. Center, center. Okay, let's try the centered, centered one. No, I don't like it to be centered, centered. A little bit higher. This is how I roll. Mock up. And let's think about a different fill color. Maybe something very pale and very bright. Hmm. This could fit, even though it's a lot of blue. The yellow is going to give it a totally weird contrast. This is also kind of completing the colors of the cow. This would be better. Very pale will be better as well. Let's go with mock-ups. Hmm. I don't know what you guys think, but this is kind of cute. This is how I roll. The this is how it needs to be higher. Tiny bit. And I want a different color. I can also go with dark color and, wrote the, and write the roll in white. That could also work. No. I can spend, I feel like, like 
I could spend my life changing colors for these socks. So not my key. Let's change the color to white. <laughs> so not my key. Mock-ups. I like. No, I don't. I think this font with the word I is not going to work. I need like a bulkier font because it is going to be on a sock and I don't want to, I don't want to like, I don't know, have something too thin. Ooh, this could be cute. This is how I roll. What was the font? Allen. I usually use the Aloyo one because it's like the font of my brand, but this could also be cute. This is how I roll. Let's make this one a tiny bit smaller. And the cow a little bit to the right. Okay, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Next. <laughs> it's thinking. While it's thinking, I'm going to head on over back to this one where I have coffee plus cows equals happiness. I'm going to delete the cow. I'm going to go to uploads and I'm going to choose a different animal and I'm going to upload this to TeePublic while we're at it. I do have the cat niche and the dog niche. I am selling a lot of cat designs over on TeePublic. So maybe this should work nice with a cat. Coffee plus. Cats. Cats equals happiness. And I'm thinking for TeePublic if I want to maybe uh, change it to white. Because I don't think it's going to look good on a lot of things. But you know what? I'm going to keep it like this. It's just not going to look good on many types of t-shirts, but it is going to look good on the tie-dye t-shirt. Let's have a look at what our cows did. Where are you? No, this is the relaxed fit t-shirt. The socks are still thinking. That's why we do things like simultaneously. Upload. Downloads. Coffee and cats. Coffee and okay. Now let's see if it gives me cat coffee. Yes, is happiness. Yes, other tags cat kawaii. I love coffee, coffee, caffeine. Coffee drinks. Kitty. Kitten. Cat lovers? Uh, cat love. Yeah, no. Let's go back to my fourth wall store. Yay, I'm done. This is how I roll. Rollerblading cow. This would be a really long name. Rollerblading cow. Funny. No. Rollerblading cow socks. Funny socks. The cow lovers. Okay. Socks. Yeah. Cow's Life socks are all made to order in two different locations, not four. Ta da! And I usually sell them for 15. Yeah, okay. I'm going to also copy this and you'll see in a second why. Let's publish. Now, here I'm going to do a few interesting things because the main image of this is a square which I don't want to. And there are also no like really good mockups for this. I haven't found a single mockup. So the first thing I'm doing with socks is I'm entering the edit additional section and adding this into the size and fit, which is the chart that I created myself. Um, and then I'm choosing what product I want to be featured as the main image. We do have like skating, like ice skating, which I'm not going to do. This is not going to look good. I've used it for some of the other stuff. If you go like if for the socks, if you see like some of them are like this, but this doesn't have any text. So I don't need this to be readable. So I have no problem with legs like going up. 
but I do have a problem when it comes to this. So I'm going to go with one of these, let's view full image and save image. And maybe a light background, I don't know. This is cute too. Yeah, this could work. Okay, drag. I'm going to re-upload this and crop it. So now the main featured image is going to be in the correct ratio for the main image size. Let's save this up. Did I use that a lot in the socks category? Where is the socks category? I'm also going to write in my notebook that I did socks. I don't think I've had this at all, like this specific one. So I think I'm good. Let's go over and check it out. So there's a very big difference if this is the main image or if this is the main image, if you can see, because if this was the main image, then people would see like this gap here, which I don't like. And then we have size and fit where people can see their sizes. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I'm loving this so much. Oh, we were at T-Public. <laughs> okay, let's wrap this up. Coffee plus cats equals happiness. I'm going to go with none. Then it's going to be black, pink, yellow, this color very light heather gray, blue, this green, all of these white stuff, and this one. The other ones, I'm not sure about. This yellow works, no. I don't know. This works. I think I'm done. Okay, default color for the t-shirt will be white. Hoodie is a no because there are no colors that I can use and also it's going to be too long. Tank top, white. All of these, white. Baby long sleeve t-shirt is a no because there are no colors that will match. Sticker, only die cut. Phone case. Let's give it a little bit of a color. Maybe like some kind of coffee. Coffee color or pink. I think the pink will be too much. Light blue. Let's save up this color. I like it. Minimize this. Minimize this. Background color. Background color. Background color. Background. Maybe brighter. Tapestries. Portrait. Okay. Pins. I don't like the alignment. Magnets with die cut only. I have read the rights and I'm publishing this. Now, one thing that I also like to do, and I do a lot, so we have added four products in here. So the socks, t-shirt, mug, sticker sheet, and this. So I'm on Pinterest, I'm on cows. And while I do plan on uploading pins that are designed as pins, I am taking some of them from the system, which means I'm gonna go into these socks and save them. I'm using the Pinterest um, extension. Cow lover apparel. Cow socks. Let's also choose another one. What do you think? Let's choose this one as well. Cow lover apparel. Cow socks. Let's close it up. Cow lover apparel. Cow shirts. Let's also grab this one. And her cow lover apparel cow shirts. And close this. Mm hmm. Cow mugs and tumblers. Let's also go with this one. Let's also go with a different color. And you can close that. And I have cow stationery here. Yes, go stickers. And then I don't think I'm gonna do something with T-Public because this is cats. <laughs> okay, what other products am I going to do? Let's have a look. Let's do a bag. Do I have one that looks nice with a bag? What do you think? Maybe the pizza one or the ice cream one. I did want to do a sports bra, but now I'm not so sure. Ooh, blanket. I'm going to head on over to the 5,000 by 5,000 and I'm going to create a seamless pattern. Where are all my cows? Um, there's going to be ice cream, pizza, 
this and the coffee. Okay. Take the coffee. Add another page. And this is how you do a seamless pattern, by the way. I'm going to make sure that it's split in exactly half. You can see that by those um, purple lines. And then that it's aligned together. Copy paste it and place it exactly here. And then I'm going to group all of them and position them in the back. So I don't have to ruin them with everything else I do. Let's go with these. Then this one is a shorty. Put this one here in the middle. Let's take the pizza guy on a straight up, split in half in the center, split in half in the center. See that they're aligned. Awesome. Group them. Take this guy, split in half, split in half. Is that centered? No, this needs to be higher. No. Yes. Okay. I'm going to move this here. Let's group them. And so this will be on the side a little bit too. And this would be here. Like that. I think that could be a really cool seamless pattern. Let's download this. I'm not sure about the background, you know, let's duplicate this and go to backgrounds. And there is this background that I really like that is by default creating like a seamless vibe. So I think that this could be really cute based on what color though. Of a blank. I like the yellow. I like to pick a color that exists in one of these obviously because then it feels more, I don't know, together. Maybe the one with the ice cream because the ice cream is one of the lowest repeating colors in this entire scenario. I think this is a cute one. Cow's pattern. And let's download this design on JPEG. I don't need it to be PNG. And let's head on over to products. And uh, not up here. Why am I? Not? I don't need to be on the EU anymore. Home and living. I wasn't even thinking about doing a blanket, you know? It just came to me now. Throw a blanket. Design now. Add image. And it's going to tell me that the file is too small. So I'm going to make it smaller. Oh, you process forever. 60 DPI because it's spread it all over. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to pattern it. And then I'm going to see if the pattern was correct. It's showing me white lines in this case, but it doesn't actually print the white lines, but I don't know if it's going to white line the mock-up, which I don't want it to white line the mock-up. Did it? Nope, no white lines in the mock-up. Okay, but as you can see, I also have to edit this. There is a yellow mark here because this is the other size. And this is 328 DPI, which is good. And this one is 253 DPI, which is good. Let's go back to the mockups. As you can see, we have this one, this one. This is so precious. This is actually kind of weird because it's upside down. But they're fairly big, I think. Yeah, that's good. Next. I'm going to head on over here. Let's locate the blanket. Now, with the blankets, I want you guys to notice where things are shipped from. I don't know if you guys notice, but the Latvia Fulfillment Center, which is the EU one for Printful, doesn't currently have the 60 by 80 inch blanket available. So I'm putting it as a note here. Um, I have spoken to them. I spoke to Printful like three days ago. So she, like the, my contact is gonna check why they're missing that specific blanket size and hoping that they will fix this blanket size and make it more available in that fulfillment center. By the way, while this is doing this, I can also upload to Redbubble. Now that I'm thinking about it, let's add Redbubble to the mix. Add new work. 
And for that, I'm going to create also a sticker sheet because we have four cows that are a part of this shenanigan. Let's ungroup this and ungroup this and ungroup this. And I'm going to take one, two, three, four cows, put them here, straighten this, straighten this. And this is going to be for Redbubble. Just on the go, you know, while I'm already doing it, why not? Let's put this one, this one here, and this one here. And download as a transparent background PNG. Let's go into Redbubble, add new work. And upload the pattern. Did this finish? Yay, it's finalizing. Whoop de doo. Okay. The cow lovers. And let's grab my text about the blankets. Uh huh. Okay, note temporarily the larger blanket size is only available in the what is my price for the blankets? 34. Still gives me nine dollar profit, so I'm good. Let's publish. And now I need to work on the featured image because I don't want the main image to be this one. So Let's see which featured image I want. View full image. Come on. Come on. Why is it not? View? Thank you. Download. This is cute. This is cute. Super cute. Uber cute. Save image. This time. I ain't uploading it the way it is. I'm creating it a whole new main image from one and two drop here. This little kiddo. Let's give this the color. Can we match the color? You know what? Let's delete background. Okay. Kiddo. Chair. Maybe the kiddo wasn't a good idea. I don't know. But the chair is nice. Maybe a different photo? Where's my cow blankets? The hamper. Hanged. Let's try the hanged one. Background remover. Oh, it kept the string. Awesome sauce. Wait. Mm. What kind of color completes this mess? Hmm. No. What if I go with gradient? Hmm. That could work. White and pink <laughs> no okay this could be cute i'm just gonna hang this up here and position this to the front yeah i don't know i don't know something doesn't feel right no i'm just gonna take the cows where are they Give me that coffee one. Let's 
gonna like sit on the chair. Text. Kawaii cow blanket. And my text again for this shop is usually Aloya. No. Line spaced a little less. And this will be my main image. I don't know if you like it or not. I do. Honestly, I don't know if I like it either. But this is what I'm going with. Download as JPEG. Thank you. And upload. And this will be the main image that people are going to see when they enter this product safe. Ta-da! Ta-da! It's actually kind of cute. I really like this one. Let's finalize the Redbubble thing and then do the collections and then we're done. So, cute, kawaii, cows. Let's do eating. Eating ice cream and pizza. Drinking coffee. Listening to music. A funky cow kawaii. Funky kawaii pattern for cow lovers. Cow. Kawaii cow. A sticker sheet. It's actually going to be a sticker sheet, so that's nice. Cow pattern. Illustration, kawaii, pizza, coffee, ice cream, la la la. No t-shirt, no t-shirt, no t-shirt. Smaller, regular pattern. Smaller, regular pattern. I'm basically going to use the, the pattern option items on Redbubble, and I'm going to ignore all the other ones except for the stickers, because for the stickers, I'm going to upload this one. So people are getting are gonna have the option to buy like four different stickers when they're buying just one. I haven't done Redbubble in a long time. I know a lot of people are pissed off at their fees, at whatever. I'm on a different tier, like I'm on the I don't even know how they call their tiers anymore, I forgot. So I'm getting my full commissions and I'm actually getting sales on Redbubble on pretty much a like a weekly or daily basis sometimes. And I think like for a lot of people, yes, there is. I don't want to do this because uh, I'm not with the platform. I don't like what the platform is doing. And other people would say, currently I'm doing this. Currently it works for me. I deactivated my Redbubble store in the past because I've had a lot of issues with them. And then I reopened it for the tier system just to check out how it is. And I kept it open mostly for tutorials. and. I'm not actively marketing it, it's making sales. And I think that if it wasn't for the channel, I would probably not still keep the shop because I'm not actively marketing it. I don't really care about this platform that much, but I do know that a lot of you guys still want me to make Redbubble videos. Uh, there were also a few requests for Redbubble Repper videos. And I would love a comment down below, pretty much on everything that I've done here now, but if you have a comment on if you're into more Redbubble tutorials, if you like the T Public ones, if you're deeply into me currently making fourth wall videos, please let me know. While I'm still doing this repetitive thing, I'm going to say two things. One, if you want to join fourth wall and you want to open a store, you can get $15 off or $15 basically towards your first test purchase, which could be really, really cute. And then if you join their Discord, you also get another $15 which means you have $30 to basically use for test orders, which is amazing. I also get the same 15 when you do, and I use that money to basically make product reviews for this channel. This is not money that I'm getting, it's only like for products. And the second thing that I want to tell you is that we have a discount over for Placeit for community members, which is 15% off on your first billing, whether it's yearly or monthly. And there is a link to that one down below. Again, I would love to know. I don't like leggings. I'm not going to design the leggings or the socks. I hate both of these products. They're horrible. 
They're literally horrible products, physically horrible products. I haven't actually checked their puzzle. I ordered it and haven't checked it. And so I would love to know what kind of tutorials you like, what you think about this one. Digital, do I have cows here? I seriously don't have cow lovers. See, that's how much I don't really use them as much. I just put stickers here. And I agree to the terms. The one thing that I still need to do is to go to my collections. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new collection, call it Coffee Cows. Save it. Make it public. And add products, which is the coffee cow, the coffee cow. I think just those. Do you have anything else with the word coffee? Well, it's a coffee mug. Oh, she's drinking coffee. They are drinking coffee. This should have been here all this time. Oh, wow. I do have a lot of um, cows drinking coffee art that should have been here all this time. Save up this collection. Even though I want to show the newer products first, so let's raise them up a little bit. I want her first. Her smile is just like so pretty. She literally like grabbed my eye the minute I saw her, which is what I'm looking for in a design. Save. Okay, back to collections. And then I have to add to the stickers. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna upload individual stickers. For each and every one of those because you know it's my creation so I can. Collections. Do I have mugs? No, drinkware. Yeah? Yep. Let's add the mug. Save. Let's go back to collections. Ooh, socks, right? Socks. Shockies! Hello? Yes. We need to go back to the t-shirt collections. Adding her. Save. Let's go to blankets. Add the blanket. Save. And kawaii, yeah. For the kawaii one, I think I pretty much need to add everything because everything is a kawaii. Dun, da, da, da. Save. So I don't think I've done a notebook because I know I said I wanted to do a notebook. I also didn't say I'm going to do Redbubble and then I did. So, you know, kind of flowing with it. I have no idea how long I've been recording or how long this... Um, end result is going to be, but let's hop on over to the store. I've added this blanket, these socks, this coffee and cows is happiness t-shirt and duotone mug. I did a sticker sheet and then I was on Tee Public, created the coffee and cats happiness and then I was on Redbubble and added all of these. And some of them I even pinned to Pinterest already. I would like to remind you that all of these are currently available on Maytribe. There is the full mega kawaii bundle with pretty much 10 different kawaii elements doing different things like eating pizza and ice cream and coffee and listening to music, rollerblading and skateboarding. We have horses and owls and cactuses and lions and tigers and bears. Well, not tigers and bears, but you get my gist. And this is available for $7 over on Maytribe with full commercial use license. And for patrons on Patreon, this is already updated as a freebie. So if you're on the $7 tier on Patreon, you already get this for free along with exclusive content videos and all the previous freebies. Links to everything that I've mentioned down below. But let's get back to me for, you know, just a second to summarize this video again in my bedroom without makeup and without getting my hair done. Quite a weird one, I have to say, but this is what I decided to do today, and thank you for tagging along. And with that, I'm done for today. Well, no, I'm done for today by far. I have a long day ahead of me. I'm going to the co-working. I have all of the March 
slash April content to plan. For those of you who have seen my seven years of print on demand video, you do know that I'm due for a very long break, sort of mid end of April. So I really have to go and plan for that. I would really like to thank you guys for watching this video and also shout out to anyone who commented on my why I don't recommend Printify and why I stopped doing Kittle tutorials video. I can't believe that video reached over 10,000 views already. I know that a lot of people commented that it's crazy seeing that me as a print on demand YouTuber, I'm talking against Printify, which again, talking about my experience, because it seems like every other print on demand YouTuber under the sun just recommends Printify all the time. Well, I'm guessing they get money from it. <laughs> Obviously, most of these are sponsored ads, or maybe they have genuine good experience for them, but I was really shocked following your comments on that, how common it really is. Because once I was commenting back to you, the YouTube algorithm kind of started showing me, I don't know, it was like 30 print on demand YouTubers that popped up in the last like four months that I've never heard of, and all of them are doing the Printify Etsy method, which I have a lot of things to say about Etsy, but that will be for another video. In any case, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna leave uh, videos here on the side for the seven years of a print on demand Q&A that I know that a lot of people have been uh, expecting and waiting for that explains a lot about my process throughout the years, as well as the why I don't use Printify and why I stopped making Kittle videos. It's gonna be here. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new or at least were entertained for a little bit. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video, preferably with makeup on and my hair straight. Bye!